Hey guys, and welcome another weekend reading. So the first proper weekend of November. Um, as always, these are by elements. Um, if you're not sure what element your sign belongs to, you can check it down in the description box. Um, and use the timestamps to jump to your elements reading if you don't want to watch the whole video. And there's also information about the decks and everything else related to the reading if there's something that interests you. And also there is still a discount code available until day 7 for personal reading. So if someone is interested in that, there is still a chance for that. And yeah, I already did the readings for water and air and I don't know what happened, but my, it didn't record. It just stopped right after the intro, the recording. So let's try it again. They were actually pretty good readings. So that, that's kind of a bummer, but yeah, it happened. So yeah. A bit of a warning, um, I know it might rub some on the wrong way, but this deck is a tiny bit damaged. There's a couple of cards that have kind of a rough <laughs> um, they're a little bit damaged. Um, that's what happens when you have a kid. Sometimes things get sticky and it just is what it is. But it doesn't bother me. I still see it as a very usable deck. I know some people will probably not use it. So I, you know, that's just a warning that if someone is very sensitive to that stuff. Yeah. And as always, the same old order for the readings. We have water, air, fire, and earth. So... Let's get to the reading and let's hope that it actually records them this time. Okay, water signs, Cancer, Pisces and Scorpio. Let's see. Let's see what's up for you for this weekend. Let's see if we get the same message. <laughs> Probably not. The tower. Three of pentacles. And the fool. Also, my cats are going completely crazy right now, so if there's some sort of a noise on the background, that's probably that. We also have the devil here. Okay, this is a lot darker than the first reading I did just now. Let's see. Okay, so in general, there's kind of a weird energy here. Um, but it does seem like I'm looking at this and how they are kind of each of them sculpting each other while, you know, like they would not um, exist without each other because they are being created while they are creating each other. So that's kind of like the same um, triangular dynamic that I was seeing here. Like there is... This does not seem like a very heavy tower. Okay, first of all, the tower can be a very, very heavy card. It can be like the worst card in the deck. But in here, it's just kind of like... Something falls and you start again. And then something falls and then you start again. Like, things wouldn't fall 
if you didn't start it and you wouldn't be able to start something new if things didn't fall. That kind of cycle thing here. So things might also feel kind of overly complicated, even though they are very simple and just very confusing in general in this weekend. And I'm going, I have this kind of a need to recap a little what the first reading was about. We had two people and one wanted to just go, go, go. It was the king of wands and another person who was the queen of swords who kind of wanted to not take very rash decisions, just kind of think very logically. And there was the whole idea of you can't force things but you can't all you can't force yourself to stay put if things are actually flowing you kind of need to surrender to the flow as well like the from here we got the card i am safe so you are safe to either go forward or you are safe to say i'm not comfortable in doing any actual action yet because I have to work with myself so it's not obvious from here but there is the kind of similar vibe here you need to work together with the people that are in the same situation in whatever relationship or work or whatever in any kind of dynamic it's like you and some person or possibly three or more create this circular motion um, but you have to work at the same speed okay you have to be on the same page because if one starts doing something faster than the others uh, it, the whole uh, system is gonna kind of crumble into chaos so it's like from here you have to all three of you be here and then you move together to this energy and then you go back to this but as a group not like one rushing ahead and another being left behind But in both readings, there was a like, very distinct kind of social element to it. Like you are dealing with someone or a group of people. And you need to all kind of pull together. Okay. I am authentic. Yeah, always be true to yourself as well. Like even in a group dynamic, you do have to bring your own um, style into it. Like if we go back to this, we can say that they are all sculpting each other in their own style, right? I speak highly of myself. And definitely not putting yourself or the other ones down. Sometimes group situations or even just relationship dynamics like between two people can be complicated. Like we make ourselves feel small or we even involuntarily make and we have the I am safe here. Again, uh, we involuntarily make the other person feel kind of small because we put our needs first but in a kind of way that comes out really strong like there has to be that kind of kind of gentle balance and everybody on the same page okay that seems to be like the message for this weekend for you and definitely always feel safe to be yourself Say that there's a need to slow down because you're not ready to move on for uh, for now. But also 
feel safe to suggest to the others, like maybe we could take a step forward. So just be true to yourself. Next up we have air signs. Well, um, Aquarius, Libra and Gemini. And yes, my cats are being complete nuts right now. Just running around, so if there's any noise, it's them. Let's see if we get let's see if we get something similar to the other reading that I did before that didn't record. Where did it go? Okay. So, first of all, this reading definitely does not want to get made, okay? I just had to move my whole sofa because this card was so deep in there. And now I'm a little breathless because of that. <laughs> so, Eight of Swords. Let's see, one more. We're gonna get through this, okay? It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Ten of Swords. And the Five of Wands, well, well now. I see why. I see why it's so difficult. And we have the Devil at the bottom of the deck. Pretty sure he was just there for water signs as well. Interesting. And again, it's a lot darker than the, the one I made, that I did, that did not actually record. Come on now. Come on now. I can't actually remember what that reading was about anymore. That's like... Oh, gone. Let's see. So yeah, it does not look good. But if there's anything positive to take out from here, uh, it does seem like all these nightmares and these chaos and conflict and everything, it's all in your head. Which means you can get out of that. Mindset. Yeah, okay. I remember what the other reading was about. It was about forcing a situation to happen before it's time. Okay, it was... All about it's your choice, your decision, how, what kind of perspective you choose to live by. If you choose to enjoy the progress and the uh, every step that you take towards your goal, see it as a good thing, or if you want to just rush into it and force the goal to happen now when it's not yet the time. So, if these are in your head, this is usually five of wands. Um, it's my chaos and conflict card. It's not getting along with other people. Uh, just really nasty. Could be verbal um, conflicts with other people or just really nasty situations like that. Ten of Swords is a really painful ending. Like here we have this person in a coffin with just ten swords piercing him all over. Um, so it's like you are creating all this madness in your head. So you can also choose to see the positive in the situation. You can choose to rely on facts. Okay, we air signs, we're really good with facts. So don't let this kind of weird psychological mm, 
confusion get you down when in reality things might actually not be bad at all. You're just creating monsters where there aren't any. And if you feel like, okay, the situation just has to be this bad because it feels like it's this bad, so it has to be this bad, like talk to the other people in the situation. See how they see the situation. See, like try to pay attention to like how other people react in the situation and like maybe it's not as bad as you think. And definitely like don't forget to let things happen because if we are in this kind of mindset we also we we don't let things happen we get so tightly wound that like we create this bubble where if things were okay and they would flow and things would come into our life positive things and negative things would just flow away. We are holding on to this fear. So it's not, nothing is moving, not in a positive way, not in a negative way, it's just not moving because you are holding on too tight. I am wild and free. Oh yeah, that. Yeah, don't hold on too tight. You are also, and you're free to change your, you know, flip the script. Decide that, hey, I'm not stuck in this. I embrace change. Well, perfect. Embrace it. But on the other, I have permission as well. You are in charge of it, so you can flip it. You can decide to see the positive because no situation is just bad okay and if it seems like it's just bad you know you can just you can go wild and free and just go completely nuts and just kind of make fun of the whole situation because how is it that kind of make things worse if things are already the worst they can be you know Kind of remember that um, monster thing from Harry Potter that showed your biggest fear and then you had to imagine something ridiculous so it would kind of not be so scary anymore. So that was kind of, kind of an interesting little bridge there. Okay, I do hope you had a good weekend. Anyway, just don't get stuck in your head. I know we are very good at that. Okay, next up. Next up we have fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Let's see what is going on with you this weekend. Okay, the cards are very, very slippery right now. Let's start to cool it down a little bit. And yes, if there are some weird noises in the background, my cats are going crazy, so that is what it is. How many do we have there? Two. Okay, I'll take two. The Eight of Swords was just out in exactly the same position for air signs. So you might be creating demons too. Let's see. Let's do one more. Okay, we have strength. Mm -hmm. The beautiful Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. One of my favorite cards here in this deck. Um, anyway. Eight of Swords, Two of Wands, and Strength. The first thing that came to my mind here is 
Your strength is to see the path forward. But somehow, somehow it might kind of only apply to other people. So you might be really good at giving advice, but not very good at actually applying that advice to your own life. At least this weekend, okay? Doesn't need to be like in general in your whole life, but like there might be a situation where you are like the one people go to for the advice. <laughs> Actually, that section of your life is kind of a mess because you don't know what to do. Although if it was someone else's life, like that might be the advice that I would give to you. Like try to think of the situation, whatever it is, as if it was someone else. If your best friend was in that situation, what kind of advice would you give them? Hmm? That might make things a little more simple, make you see things from the outside, see another perspective for this, uh, of the, well, whatever. See things from a different perspective. And then you're not so stuck in your head and confused and just awkward and it doesn't exactly seem like creating monsters, okay? In the air sign readings, it was definitely like, it was bad. But in here, it's more just general, like, I don't know what to do. I'm just completely just blind in this situation and I cannot see the path forward, although... If it was someone else, you would just have the answer like in a flash. And this could be interesting for you to kind of think about it that way. I surrender. And yeah, definitely that's very key here. Like don't... Don't get stuck in those thoughts. Let things happen. Like We don't always need to know what is going to happen. The Eight of Swords is also that kind of like, I'm scared and I don't know how to move forward because I don't know what is going to happen. Sometimes we just need to kind of surrender, go with the flow and go like, Oop, okay, well that happened. Now what? Instead of like, having to have an arsenal of possible answers to a situation that we do not know how it's even going to start. What do we have? I am supported. Yeah, you're not alone. Also <laughs> important to know is like, if you are always the one that people come to, that means that you also have a lot of people around you. So if you do need help to see things from a different perspective, you can also go to them for help. If they come to you for help, why not? They should be able to be there for you as well, because you are there for them. Okay. It's very interesting. I do hope you will have a fantastic weekend anyway. Fire signs. And finally, we have Earth signs. And again, my cats are going a little bit crazy, so is there some background noise? It's that. They're just running around. I'm being cats. First card, we have Temperance. That's a Sagittarius card. We have the Six of Cups. Okay, let's get one more. Let's see what we have. Okay, we get Ace of Swords. Mm. We have the King of Wands here at the bottom of the deck. I have not really looked at the bottom of the deck here, but it does 
there is um, um, a lot of fire with the Temperance and the King, so you might be dealing with a fire sign or your fire sign placements are just playing a big role on this weekend. If you have if you have fire in your chart very heavily or at all, you know, just if that applies to you. Very simply put here. First of all, temperance in some decks is called patience. And it just seems like there was a situation in the past, Six of Cups is kind of a nostalgia card, looking back, uh, things possibly coming back, not necessarily physically coming back, but in your mind you're thinking about them, or in other ways resurfacing, someone just comes to tell you like, oh, remember when that happened, or remember that person or whatever. So there might have been a situation in the past that you know was not exactly the best, like, you had to have patience to tolerate the situation, okay? Let's put it that way. We don't have justice here, but this, in this reading, has that kind of, um, especially with the Ace of Swords coming up here too. It was not a fair situation, not necessarily towards you, but someone... did something and you just you had to hold your feelings in and just kind of rein it in even though you might have wanted to say something or do something and it just looks like with the ace of swords here like there that situation i don't know how long ago that was it could have been last week could have been five years ago um there the the truth comes out so whatever, if someone deceived someone else and you couldn't say the thing at the time, it kind of surfaced now. Not through you necessarily, or it might be through you as well, but something brings the truth um, out and you can also kind of Um, feel a little lighter because of that because you don't need to hold that in anymore even if you d never say anything like even if you never reveal that you knew that there was something off in that situation now at least they know and you can kind of like well I don't need to hold that in anymore it's very interesting reading might not apply to a lot of people, but you know, that's how these readings always are. I am, I can change my thoughts, interesting, and I have a higher purpose. The way I'm seeing these two cards here, it's more like um, when this thing surfaces and you like the truth comes out you can also notice that okay the way i approached that situation back then was good and i didn't actually need to attack or kind of ambush someone um And maybe it's something that this wasn't exactly how you would normally approach this type of thing. And you're more kind of rash and just kind of outing people. Like, um, as soon as you, uh, there's nothing wrong with saying if you see some injustice, you point it out. But it kind of has that feeling like it might have not been your business at all. So this coming out might make you rethink how you approach situations now. Like maybe you could benefit in 
taking the kind of more neutral approach and just letting things happen because the truth will eventually come out. I hope that makes sense to someone. Like I said, it, it does feel like it might not apply to a lot of people. But it's what I'm getting, okay? The I have a higher purpose, I'm really linking it to just kind of taking the high road here. That's not what that card necessarily means, but in this reading, it's like not... Not going down to the... How, how is that said? To their level, like if someone did something bad, you don't need to do the same thing. Like you can take the high road, okay? I hope that makes sense to someone. It feels kind of weird. This whole, this whole reading, all the four readings have been kind of weird. Like they did not want to be done today. I don't know what is going on, but okay. I do hope you have a fantastic weekend. Earth signs. I hope this was helpful. Ooh, we have Emperor. Hmm. Let's just put that back. Okay, this is just it's better we just put it back and do not address it. I think the deck just wants to be the boss and I was just a little poke at me for not using it for a long time. Okay. Uh, I hope this was helpful and I will see you again soon in another video. Bye.